Three, two, one, play. Something calls to me. What, what the heck? A the portal? Job. Oh, y'all do this tonight. What the freak? What the freak? Okay, this is the dual powers. Oh, supporting me, supporting me, supporting me. Brother. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the freak? Oh my jeez. What the freak? Oh my gosh, he's so raw! Bro, oh, he's so oh raw. My. He's so raw. Oh my Ooh, brother. What? Oh my brother! He's so raw! He's so Dude. cool. He's yeah, so cool. Rash, Kingdom Valley, Kingdom uh, Valley. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Doom Morph. Oh my this? gosh, all these abilities. Doom Morph. What the oh. heck? Frontiers! Frontiers! Dude! Xenomorph! Lord, oh, it's a Xenomorph! Yo, oh my god, it's the Squid Xenomorph! Doom Wings, okay? Oh, oh my gosh, the Doom Wings! Oh my, oh my god. god! Oh my god, show the Venom Wings! The Venom Let's Wings! Go, yo, dude, yo, dude, uh, yo, dude, Vampire Shadow, let's go, bro. Yo! Oh, yes! yes, yes. Let's, Let's get it. Let's get it. This Let's remix it, is so bro. fire, oh, by the way! Doom Surf! Oh, it's literally, it's Spider Man 2, bro. Uh, <laughs> it's literally. Uh, they need to stop right now. They need no. to stop right let them cook. Stop. Bro, bro this is a Manta right now. Neo, oh, there's Neo! Right Neo right there, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. This is a Neo Metal Sonic, let's go. Yo, let's yes! It. Let's stop it right now. Brother, are you serious right I, now? I, I, I actually, this? I actually gooned. So, this is like, what is this? Where does this, where did this come from? This portal, it's not a portal. It's like an egg? Like, what is this? Bro, it's of, sort of, of course, bro. It's gotta be egg shaped, bro. From what I'm thinking here, this could be like Doom's like past, and he's like he's looking through it and he's putting shadow through it, maybe. Yeah. And that's why we're getting all these Doom powers. So that's probably, and that's why he's getting uh, through Shadow's full potential. Can we talk about how he literally kicks the camera? He oh my like gosh! Just the camera. Oh my gosh! He oh. kicks us to oblivion. Oh, this is so raw. Oh, this is so clean, bro. Bro, bro is really. Bro really said, you know what? I hate you. Get guys, out of my face. This is so clean. You guys have no idea. This is so clean. So oh, these clean. These animations are th these animations, bro. They you can really see how they came from Frontiers and they were like, well, we got peak with those animations. Let's see what we can do with Shadow. Like this really hit hit yeah. hard. My heart might have skipped the beat when I saw the the Doom Wings. Yeah, Again. bro. Like uh, I'm I, not, Dude, they cook so good. Function. They cook so we're hard, bro. We're in a flying level that's not the tornado in a Sonic game. What's happening? Makes me wonder if Super Shadow or the battle against Time Eater will be different. Hope I'm not spoiling. I don't think we saw it. We saw Time Eater like for like a glimpse of it. No, it's Super Shadow either. Yeah, not Super Shadow though. Beyond another world. What the heck? What is this? A Shadow the Hedgehog movie poster trailer? What, what, what is this? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. This is just something I want to look at. Beyond another world. Yo, that actually looks, that looks like a... A Spider Verse thing. I know. Like, what the? <laughs> uh, beyond another world. What is this? What is this? Hogwarts based off of? Is it actually just original? Am I just tripping? Is it just original? And I'm just, I just, I'm just deeply anal analyzing this. I'm over analyzing it. Uh, so this world, this is Sonic. This is a Sonic Heroes level. I think this is um Egg Fleet, Egg Fleet, in the end of the trailer. We're gonna head, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into an analysis now. You probably already seen more of my analysis already from my live stream, but I'm gonna jump into more of a little bit deeper of an analysis and talk about some things, talk about a little bit more keen details on why I find it interesting in this trailer and so forth. So let's go ahead and keep diving into this analysis, shall we? So this portal right here, this portal portal right here with the eyeball. I wonder where this came from. I wonder how it got into the white void with the time eater, because clearly we are in the same white void as Sonic, but in like. A different subspace of it, a different, a different, a separate and a separate area of the white void that Sonic is in in Sonic Generations, because Sonic and Shadow Generations both take place during the same time period. So I'm curious as to how this crystal got here in the first place, and I guess this is how Doom is somehow reawakened and the power Doom powers are inherited into Shadow the Hedgehog. So I'm, I'm curious, how, how does? I guess we're gonna get an explanation of it in, the, in the story. I shouldn't really question it. I shouldn't really just question. It. I should just go along with it. And also. That remix is fire, by the way. That remix is fire. Jun Snow Way cooked really hard right there. Also, these Doom Spheres are so raw. These Doom Spheres are so... Dude, I love these. This is like... Mm, perfect, bro. Like, everything that Sonic Team did during the during the time between so when Sonic 2 ended to now, it's just amazing. Y'all, Zuka. 
keep cooking, bro. Keep cooking, bro. You're doing something great, bro. Like, this is incredible. This is awesome stuff. Good stuff to see, bro. Good stuff to see. And originally, I thought these enemies were the artificial chaos, but I don't... I think they're just different. I think they're completely different enemies, in my opinion. I don't think they're actually artificial chaos. I might be completely wrong here. If I do a frame by frame here... No, that's not the artificial chaos. That's a completely new enemy. I wonder who that is. It looks like a hologram, though. It looks like they aren't actually real, but it looks like they're made out of, like, an illusion from um, Black Doom. So it doesn't look like they're actually real enemies. Um, but, dude, the Chaos Spear actually looks... The Chaos Spear looks so fluid to control. I wonder if um, it's going to work like a homing attack. Like, you home onto the enemies, and there's different Doom Spears that like, lock onto each enemy. That'd be really cool. Oh, I don't know, dude. I, I, honestly, I want to get my hands on this game so badly right now. I want to get my hands on it so badly, man. Man, this looks so freaking good. Radical Highway with Stopless. Good to see. Good to see more of this on more of this level. Love to see it. And we got Doom Blast. Doom Blast right here. This looks... This looks like a... This looks like if Shadow's Final Smash... In an, in an official Smash Bros. game. And also, it looks like the um the stretched um, screen imagery is continuing from the Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> and remember that one squ squished cutscene from Sonic Frontiers? This is exactly what this looks like. Do a side-by-side -side comparison and you literally get that. But yeah, this literally looks like a looks like a final Smash Bro. It's Smash Brothers. That looks so raw. Like, oh my gosh. That looks so dude, that looks so clean. That looks so freaking clean, dude. That looks so, so, so good, bro. So it looks like a rapid it looks like a rapid fire punch on each enemy that you hit, which looks really cool. So it kind of looks like almost like an insta kill in a way. Or like it pushes them back. Well, let me go back. Yeah, it's kind of like you can do a combo with the uppercut at the end there. So that looks kind of cool. And then Doom Morph. This screams Spider-Man 2. To me, this actually just screams the, the, the um the squid. Kind of, I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. But it's that one ability that lets you like um dive under uh, dive into the ground with the uh, the symbiote and lets you rise up and take out enemies. This is what this reminds me of. But it just it just infinite it's just infinite riding into the, in this rain and frontiers. I did not expect frontiers to be a part of the, to be a part of this. Like honestly, Shadow Hedgehog, Shadow the Hedgehog didn't have any part to take in with Sonic Frontiers. So I'm wondering like what Sonic Frontiers gonna play in with the Shadow Generations DLC? Like with, with I'm not gonna question any further with how Shadows and Sonic Frontiers somehow. But we're just gonna see how I guess we're just gonna have to see how it plays out with how this works with the the white void and the time eater i guess the time eater somehow made it to the the future somehow because if this takes place during the same time as sonic generations is the time eater seen into the future adventures of sonic and his friends because if so that's kind of weird that's kind of some new lore there that we know about the time eater although who really cares about the time eater because he's one of the weakest characters in the series i'm sorry i love sonic generations but I kind of had a weak story. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it looks like you can do a Swinny animation with the uh, the with the Doom Morph, which actually which actually might come in handy, actually. And you can do, like, loop-de-loops on it as well. These basically kind of remind me... That the Doom Morph kind of reminds me of, like, some of the abilities of, um... Not only, like... It's kind of like a mixture of, like, the Werehog, where you can swing against... Swing along, like, um... Um, objects in midair. And also kind of reminds me of, like, the spike in Sonic Colors. Kind of reminds me of, like, a different combination of different abilities they used in the past. And they're taking... Putting them all together... With these doom abilities which i kind of like i might be going a little bit far-fetched there but that's what's giving me the vibes up at least one thing that i forgot to mention is that apparently omega is in the hub world at some point i don't know how this slipped by me but one of my chat members did point out to me thanks cmj for pointing out to me in the chat in my like gamescom live stream but yeah, i just wanted to point that out and oh my gosh can't believe omega's in the game and in the doom wings we got more west Opolis radical highway here um it might be one or the other i might be wrong about which one this, which stage this is more of the arc so yeah, the, like the Doom Wings literally lets you like fly to however long you want. I'm sure there's like a limitation to how long you can fly it. And they got Doom Surf, which is literally your own surfboard, which looks really cool by the way. You got the, you got a little bit of your quick step right there with that, with that and you got Neo Metal Needle Metal Overlord. So Neo Metal Overlord, I'm guessing it's gonna be one of the bosses. And we also got Egg Fleet here. We got more Sonic Hero stages, which is good to see. More sweet, more more Sonic Hero stages. But I'm wondering. I'm always, when it comes to watching these trailers recently, when it comes to watching the recent Sonic X Shadow Generations trailers, I'm always thinking about how this game is going to play out narrative-wise before we even get our hands on the game. And the reason for that is because since Sonic Generations is kind of a, is kind of a predictable storyline, I'm trying to piece together the puzzle pieces of how the, gen the narrative in Shadow Generations is going to play out now. And now, I don't really know how it's going to play out because after seeing like the um, sneak peek of Shadow, Shadow Generations Dark Beginnings, at Anime Expo with Maria and that one scene in the arc with with Emerald. I'm now having a hard time trying to piece together the pieces of how Shadow Generation is going to work narratively in the game story. And I guess for now, I kind of got to give up on trying to predict that because right now, this gameplay looks great. I mean, don't get me wrong, this gameplay looks great. And honestly, from what they've learned, from what Sonic Team has learned 
from Sonic Frontiers, this looks like a major step up. Even if this is only like a two to four hour um, short side game, this looks amazing. This looks incredible. Also, I need a poster of this picture immediately. I need, I need an art painting of this. I need an oil painting of this shot immediately. Sega, make it happen. <laughs> make it happen. So looking at this interview that just got posted today on PlayStation Blog for the new trailer, there's a question that is brought up that's saying, why are Shadow's Doom powers important to the story and gameplay? Hopefully I can finally get some answers about the narrative so I can stop questioning it. <laughs> and as Lucas says, in terms of gameplay, the team wants to make Shadow Generations' action more unique to differentiate from what Sonic can do. So we added the Doom powers. While we can't share much about the story, the Doom powers play an essential role in Shadow's journey and development throughout his campaign, giving him more powers to save the world. Shadow receives these when he awakens to the power of darkness in the game, so players will see how closely they tie into the narrative when the game comes out later this year. So, power of darkness. Do I dare continue to think deeply about this narrative, or do I just now analyze the gameplay for what it is and just leave the narrative alone for now? I'd say we leave the narrative alone for now. I almost choked. So as far as I can tell, that's all I really wanted to dive into today for this video. I know this video wasn't really that long, but I wanted to make a quick video about this considering the fact that I wanted to make up for that crappy Gamescom showcase that we saw earlier and that didn't really give us much of what we wanted. But at least we had this trailer today to make up for it, and I cannot be any more excited for this game to come out in October. And y'all know I'm getting that Collector's Edition when it drops out, drops as well, so I'll be able to do an unboxing whenever that arrives, which is basically going to be next year. But with that being said, what are you most excited for when it comes to Shadow Generations? Are you excited for the Doom powers? Are you excited for these extra levels like Frontiers and the Egg Fleet coming back to, to the games? Let me know if you guys are excited for what you guys are excited for, and thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you haven't enjoyed this up and out of it, make sure you guys have liked down below. It always helps with the videos. And make sure you guys subscribe for even more Sonic and there's no content. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.